Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Today I'm going to go over how to draw a dragon. And uh, there's basically two. You can divide dragons into two. I, I do. I mean, some people divide them into three. Uh, some people divide them into the uh, eastern, western, the wyvern. Uh, I, I, sometimes I, I think the wyvern and the eastern are pretty... And I think the western are pretty pretty close. So I, I like to group those together. The western would be the medieval type dragon, you know. Uh, the wyvern, wyvern, I believe, I forgot how you pronounce it. Why wyvern? Wine? I don't know. Anyways, that's one where it has the uh, doesn't have four legs. You know, the uh, dragon has more of a, the wings are connected to the arms, kind of like a bat. And then the uh, the eastern is the Asian dragon, where it uh, you know more of a snake like kind of a snake serpent look to it. Uh, right now, I'm going to be drawing just the head of more of a uh, kind of a European you know. Western dragon, and I'm just gonna kind of go walk through it. I'm gonna draw a bunch of different ones. There's really no right answer on how to draw a dragon, so I'm gonna just go over what I do, and you know, I'm gonna be kind of making this up on the spot, and you can come along this journey with me. So I'm gonna start out with a box because I want to think of the head as a box first for this uh, creature, for this dragon. I'm drawing in pen, by the way, so I'm drawing really light. I hope I'm not even sure if this can come out on camera, but I'm drawing a really light box just for my own placement. Dividing the box, trying to find the you know side plane of the head, of the skull area. Excuse me. Whew. Sorry, it's late at night. I'm going to put some placement for the horns back here. I'm going to choose to put some horns. And, uh, you know, off the zygomatic arch, I'm going to put a uh, kind of a fin over here on the, on the side. I think it looks kind of cool. Zygomatic arch is the cheekbone, by the way. I'm going to draw a little bit of the zygomatic arch. I'm going to come forward. Placement of the eye on the side of the head. Still playing around with that eye shape, kind of looks like a car. Being really light still, I hope you can kind of see this on camera. Hopefully you're not just sitting there totally wondering what the hell's going on. But kind of the snout area. Finding the three-dimensional form of the, the front, kind of the front plane of the head, of the snout. Oh, this is really going to be closed, and uh, looks a little bit like the Asian dragon right now. I'm going to try to pull away from that. Asian dragon has more curled horns anyway. Uh, putting division to its head, and the brow line over here. So, i got a really light kind of placement to everything I'm about to go into. So, now, I did that with pen. And by the way, I'm using a zebra... F three oh seven ballpoint pen. If uh, anybody cares, you know, does it matter? Not really. It, this is a very it has a very very thin thin th th tip though. So I will say that it's pretty cool. I like it. Doesn't mean you have to like it. I'm gonna start into the eye. I mean, it doesn't mean you have to. You know, sound snippy there. It doesn't mean you have to use it. You know, you can use anything you want. The eye, I'm gonna give kind of an evil eye. You know, take the, the old knowledge you have of eye, drawing eyeballs and uh, kind of use it, you know. It's just very similar to human eye, except it's gonna be the side of the head. The eye, I'm gonna give him kind of a uh, kind of a snake pupil. It's like a V. Let's put a V there, and you shade that in. Imagine a V. Imagine a, dre a V drawn on to a, like a ball, volleyball. I gotta remember. I gotta. I gotta keep that form there. You know, the eyeball is a rounded form inside the skull. Draw on the lower lid, the lower lower eyelid. Very distinct feature.
Now I'm going to go down to the cheekbone area, the zygomatic arch. Uh, head kind of reminds me of a uh, kind of a kind of a monitor lizard or Komodo dragon, or uh, you know, even in some cases a dog has an elongated skull. So if you know those skulls pretty well, uh, it's very similar. If you don't, then so that's okay. I don't know them very well either. <laughs> We're just kind of recalling it from memory. Kind of handling the brow there a little bit. The brow's going to be pretty big. It's also going to change planes as it turns. So I'm going to try to make that come off with maybe some of the little scratch shading that I'm doing here. Now, this isn't really shading. It's just uh, little indications to kind of show you which direction the form is starting to turn. Little tick marks. More of a stylistic thing, really. That uh, I do a lot. Uh, I'm not sure why I do it so much. I just do it. Well, I shouldn't say that. Uh, I do it just to. Uh, I do it really for the, to kind of again, kind of create the illusion that you are shading it, but you don't really have to. On the front of the snout, be really careful with this curve. Uh, kind of a more rounded front would give him a more cartoony look. So I'm being really careful how I make that line. You have a really hard time on the uh, the snout of the dragon. The nostril. What would the nostril be? The nostril is essentially triangle. It's got its own kind of, you know, hood. I mean, well, the nostril itself. All right. I'm going to put um, his teeth coming out from the bottom. Kind of uh, show that he's got them. Um, the far side of his head, going to show that he's got that brow, I'm going to gonna eat, mirror it over there. Going back to the teeth really quick. Flattening out of the top of the head there. Back to the eye as I go, go down. Going down to the masseter. 
masters underneath here. Extending the uh, the ridge from the eye, extending it kind of down to the nostril to kind of join it up. Like it's turning here, let's say. Going back to the horn, finding the other horn, I guess I kind of abandoned that fin, I'm sorry, <laughs> actually, I still put it in there, it's, I just totally forgot about it, honestly, okay, you know, I'm going to put it in there, it's going to be rough, but I'm putting it in, almost like webbing. I think I'm at the back of the masseter there. There's really no right answer. I'm just kind of doing this on a whim, and there's been different versions of uh, these kinds of dragons. That's what's kind of cool about drawing a character that doesn't really exist, is that, especially a character like, well, it's not just that. It's, it's also a character that's been drawn in so many different ways, a type of character, you know? There's so many different kinds of dragons. But I'm just trying to go with the uh, very general Definition of that. Uh, mirror that fin over there, uh, opposite side. Neck. See that on the screen. Let me see. Neck has to be a little bigger. Spikes coming out the back of it. Kind of counter shading down here that he has. Oh, that. Lower neck, these ridges. Oops. I'm going to go over shading a little bit and maybe repair a couple of things. I'm going to slightly shade this edge to make it look a little more uh, like it's... So, basically I made a huge mistake and uh, I'll try to correct it right now. 
this line right here could probably go away with shading. But uh, actually, I'll leave it there. Can't really do anything about it actually right now. I can get rid of that with shading, but I'm not really going to shade this version. So. Back into the eye a little bit. I'm going to start drawing uh, scales. Uh, for this scales, I'm going to kind of use more of a circular pattern that like kind of circles bunching up, almost like a, almost like a bubble wrap. I'm going to put the smaller ones next to the eye. And they're going to get a little tiny bit larger as they go out. I uh, I might time lapse this part. At this point, I'm thinking, uh, what did I get myself into? They don't have to be exact. Just have to kind of merge together to form a, you know, kind of a texture, at least at first glance.
Anyways, that took a bit. It's just loose, kind of semi-circles and circles to kind of show uh, a texture overall. And you can go a lot further than that, but I'm going to leave it as is. Right now, there's a kind of a first dragon head, and I'm going to do a few more after this, so that's just a dragon sketch. Alright guys, thanks a lot, and uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Uh, it really helps when you do that, and uh, I appreciate you guys, you know, sitting through. Thank you. Although I have the, his body over here, there's a giant cranial mass, putting on his fin, the moray eel. Split there. Following his fin down his body. Coming along. Going along the outside, following that. And going back up here, the fin apparently attaches kind of way down. Putting in his jaw a little bit there. Sometimes they look kind of like weird old men if you see them in the zoo or uh, some kind of uh, water park, uh, animal park. They're kind of like old people. They have like these weird old, old person mouths. Some kind of strange network down here. And let me erase it and uh, that'll be it for the electric eel. Uh, one of the big pinpoints though that uh, separates couple of things that separates the eel when you draw it from like a snake.